sorry about all this. This is... This is kind of embarrassing to the fact where I, like, didn't even think about this in the first place. Okay, what we want to do is we want to leave our high wind. Here's how we get a glitch file. <laughs> um, the reason why it wasn't working and the reason that it was having the mithril mines music instead of taking me to that boss fight is because I went on a another field map after setting up the glitch. So basically what I did is died to motorball and um, I went in a mode called no experience and um, I'm not supposed to enter another area <laughs> not supposed to enter another field map area. Um, when trying to perform the Yuffie Warp glitch. So if this next way doesn't work, then I'm completely lost. But it should be. Tentacle Prawns, that's a badass name. Never have to deal with her again. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, dude. That's a badass name. That's a badass name, son. Alright. Um. Oh, yeah, dude. I grew up with this game, this game's so good. I actually got a PB last night. I beat the game in 4 hours, 25 minutes, 35 seconds. That's my second speedrun attempt. It's pretty, not, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Shaved off 20 minutes from my previous time. Okay, so what you want to do, because I completely was oblivious to this, is you want to save right here. You want to save outside of Junior. Now we're going to try this again. Um, okay, so now I want to load my save file that I have before Motorball, right? So we're like going to go fight Motorball, but we're going to die. So you have the steps out of order. Dude, tentacle will go for it. Helbert needs to play Final Fantasy Slider. So, now that we have it set up so that I don't have to walk through another field map, which is completely why it didn't work, <clears throat> um, when I win the Yuffie fight, it should warp me to the motor ball fight. If you don't know what Yuffie Warping is, it's a really, really weird concept. Um, it's only... It's only, like, available to you on PC. You can only do it on PC because... The fact that there's no disk swap mechanism in the game is... The game's memory banks are programmed as one thing. So what happens is when you die, the game's resident memory is kind of stored. You can manipulate that storage of memory. Um, 
by doing what's called a Yuffie Warp. Because a Yuffie Warp... Um, actually, I should say a Yuffie Fight. And uh, it works with two fights in the game. The Diamond Weapon Fight and the Yuffie Fight. The only reason that works is because after you win either of those battles, you'll notice that you don't go back to a world map. You go to a field map instead. Um, which means that the game becomes confused and it tries to put you at an XY location on the world map, but instead it takes that previously stored data and that stored location where you last died and it puts you there. Because the game doesn't really know what to do at that point. It's like, wait a minute, you died on a field map and I'm trying to like load you where you need to go, but you're also on another field map and it's kind of overlaying data. So it just sets you here previously or your previous location when you died. And there's there's a lot more that goes into it, but it's it's weird. So me dying to motorball here on disc one and loading a game on disc three um, means that I can literally go backwards in the game. It makes it interesting. Um, really messed up concept, but I can take game three game moment variables, or sorry, disc three game moment variables, and transfer them back to disc one game moment variables. So what that means is I'm playing on disc one with disc three stats. And all of the things I have. That being the high wind on disc one. Also that being that most things that shouldn't be available to me on disc one are available to me. And that also means <laughs> um, that Mount Nibble is available to me before I'm ever supposed to see it. Which is, if you recall, Mount Nibble is part of Cloud's past. And so the game moment variable is going to be like, whoa, wait a minute, you're here? And so it tries to correct itself, and you'll see it does some weird things. And that sets up a thing called a battle mode warp, and that's what a glitched file is. And it really hopes for speedruns. I mean, if this doesn't work, then whatever, but... I mean, I'm, I'm following exactly what I need to do. So the game now stored the location of my death. Going to the Junin area. I'm gonna try and get in a fight with you for here. Okay, cool, that was really lucky. Now let's see if it works. Now that I haven't gone into another field map. Okay, there we go. There we go. So now you'll see, <clears throat> I'm back at the motorball fight, but I have the ultimate weapon and my disc three strat or disc three stats.
Now this cutscene right here is one of the cutscenes that can tell the game, wait, it'll make the game go, wait a minute, wait a minute, okay, so we're on disc one. So, you're like the game's like, okay, now what do we do? Well, we can't do anything else, so it's just like, oh wait, okay, we're at Midgar, we're escaping. This is disc one, it has to be. That's what the game only variable tells itself, so. <clears throat> so now, when I go to leave, it's, you know, this, this is just the same exact cutscene as disc one. Really, I'm on disc three, but the game is trying to convince me that I'm on disc one. <laughs> or rather, it's trying to convince itself. So I need a party of... See, I have Sid and Kate sitting in my party. Which is kind of goofy. <laughs> we're just going to leave. We're going to take uh, take Cloud and Barrett with us. Or, um, Red 13 and Barrett. FF7 easy mode. <laughs> Pretty much, dude. Okay, so. <clears throat> now I'm back on the world map, right? And, um. This is our save. Our same save file from before. Now, this is gonna look really fucking goofy, but. Um. <laughs> this is gonna look really goofy. Okay, now I'm in an invisible island, right? <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> um, what we want to do is we want to go to Mount Nibble. Which is over here. Now keep in mind, the game th still thinks we're on disc 1. Um, which is an interesting side effect to this whole thing. And more specifically, Mount Nibble, you want to be right here. So now there's a trick you can do, which I don't want to really do it yet. So I want to save this game. I'm going to save it in save five, I guess. Now I want to walk into Mount Nibble. Keep in mind, run disc one. The game, um, the game moment variable variable is set. So we haven't done clouds past yet. So when we walk in here. The game is going to seem like it's soft locked, but it's not. Just watch. The game is trying to correct itself for me being in Mount Nibble 1 I'm not supposed to be. So you see Sephiroth. Everyone seems to be alright. We'll be able to get back. Tifa. These caves are intertwined like an ant farm. Oh, and Sephiroth. One person seems to be missing. Sephiroth. It may sound cruel, but we've no time to search for him. We can't go back, so we must go on. We'll travel together from here. This is the part where you fall off the bridge. So now... I... Now have made the game think I'm in Cloud's past. <laughs> so... <clears throat> um, this is what you do. Uh, I'm gonna get in a fight.
kill off Run 13 and Barret. And then I want to kill Cloud. PHS and do a PHS trick where I literally have a dead party. Kind of interesting. And I want to go right here. And I want to save. And do five. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is now my official glitched save file. Um, this can do a number of things. With this file, you can do what's called battle mode warping now, which is you load this file, you die, um, which will be any random encounter I get in because I'm, I'm already dead in the menu. So my guys are literally toast. So, um, that's, that's only to speed things up. You don't need to do that, but you can use that PHS trick to speed things up instead of killing yourself again. Um, I can take a file that, um, in fact, hang on a second, I'll actually show you and see if it works. Save again. Alright, so I'm going to load another file here. Cloud, you traitor. Alright. Actually, I gotta I gotta do this one first. Mount Nibble area, my glitched save file. I'm gonna walk inside here, and I'm just gonna get in a fight. Now this works the same as Yuffie warping, except for the fact that since the game thinks I'm on disc one, and it tries to put it's gonna try to put me here because it wants to correct itself. So when I eventually get in a fight, which hopefully will be soon. Here's a, here's a good one. Say I want to have a guaranteed Yuffie Warp spot, right? So I take this save file. And in theory, I should be able to get into a fight and win it and be warped. But I guess we'll see. <laughs> Cue battle music, dead party. Okay, wham pow, that's how that works. So now I have my level 11 party um, that I just had, and it says I'm at Junin area, but I'm not. I can take these guys outside and see how the high wind's not here anymore. So what this means is that if I ever needed to warp, if I ever needed a Yuffie Warp, I would, like if I ever needed a quick Yuffie Warp, which is what you really want if you die in North Crater, 
You want to be able to warp to this forest because this forest you'll find Yuffie 255 times out of 256. So that's literally 99.9% .9 of the time, which makes Yuffie warping New Game Plus speedruns really fast. <laughs> so that's that's basically how you get a glitched file. Um, the reason that this works, um, and the reason you warp notice when I won that fight, that, that that's a battle, that's a battle mode warp, by the way. Um, when I won that fight, I didn't get an experience or guild screen. Reason being is because if you recall, when you do clouds past and you're fighting with Sephiroth in your party, you don't gain experience because it's part of clouds past. Um, that's what puts you in a mode called no experience mode and that's basically how that works so a glitched file is really a no experience file that's only it only has one purpose and that's to warp you from any given battle you can you complete to this spot so you can get to this forest I mean, it has other uses too, like you can get into debug rooms and goofy stuff like that, which is like what the new, the new New Game Plus speedrun is, it's like debug, debug room and stuff like that, but, um, yeah, this is basically used for this purpose.